Ryan. This is actually Ryan's boat. We brought it over to Nanaimo and we're just gonna spend a couple days cruising on the water and familiarization and then of course we have the beautiful Angela. <laughs> oh, that was easy. So just a little turn, push button. Nothing to it. Oh, that was easy. So we're just out here in front of Newcastle. We just finished up a little barbecue on the beach. Now we're gonna do a speed test. I remember this was in the paper. Oh yeah, for sure it was. Hey guys, I'm Jared with Striker Boats and we're here today. Uh, we just arrived to Newcastle Island. So Newcastle Island is a cool little island. The whole thing is a, is a park. So we're gonna go do a little exploring around the island today. We just got out here to Nanaimo um, last night with this brand new Pro 470 with the new Merc 30 ELHPT which is a tiller handle. Um, this is a new lighter weight, 30 horsepower Merc. And this is my first time running this outboard on this package and what a treat. It's just an incredible smooth running package. You can barely tell the motors on while we're out cruising around. So we went out to the outside of Gabriola and uh, blowing up pretty good and the boat handled it like a champ. So there's three of us out here today, full load of gear and just touch the throttle and uh, you're up on step. So the whole package itself, the 470 Pro with the 30 horse, we got the we got electric bilge pump installed on this one. No water in the boat yet. We didn't take any waves on. We have the six gallon fuel tank. We have the battery for the electric start. Um, and then just, that's about all we have on here right now. So we, we were out, out uh, on the outside of Gabriola today. It was blowing up pretty good. So. We, we had a few uh, good waves that were that wanted to make an appearance in the boat, but none of them did. So this boat, this Pro 470, the way that this new hull has been designed, we did the one piece bow board and what a significant improvements in performance that, that these new Pro models and actually anything from the LX380 and bigger, we've, we have that the same new hull design. We've been working on this hull design for, for a five, six years now, just trying to find something that sits on top of the water, that rides drier, rides a lot smoother and gives you just a lot cleaner performance while you're out in the water. And definitely today for sure, um, I feel very confident that we've achieved that in this new platform. So I'm um, really excited to get some more time on this model and, and our other models this season. Uh, the new lightweight 30, you can really notice the, the difference in not having that extra 30 pounds hanging off the rear of the boat. It performs incredibly. So we have some drone footage, we have some other videos that we'll include for this as well. But uh, for now, we're gonna go explore Newcastle. <laughs> Hey guys, so we just got to Newcastle here and we just did a little walk around. Super cool, beautiful island. It's April 7th today. So, I mean, great spring conditions over here on Vancouver Island or Newcastle, which is just off of Vancouver Island. So we got our Striker Pro 470 out in the, out tied up to the dock there. And uh, we're just gonna have a coffee and we're gonna make a little lunch. So first I'm gonna get a coffee going. We've had a uh, we, it was blowing out up pretty good on the outside of Gabriola there this morning. So um, we got a little wet, had a lot of fun, put the boats through the paces. So it was a lot of fun. So I uh, just want to show you guys, we have this new jet boil where it's the first time using it. So never used it uh, before. So we'll get this going and just, um, the reason we got this is one main reason is we've, we always cook with these stoves while we're out. 
But when we're in the boat and, and it's rolling or in big water, it's, I'm always worried about spilling that pot that we have on our little stove. And then these jet boils are supposed to be really good. So um, I'm not affiliated with them in any way, by the way, they were just having some cool stuff while we're out camping. We'll give this a try. So uh, the reason I like this one is it actually attaches to the base. Push button igniter. It has a, like a nice neoprene shelf. So actually we probably don't even need the stand. So uh, we'll get some water going in there. Should I make two inch? So we'll make two waters. So that will be, each one of these are 500, so we'll have a liter of water. I'm guessing that's probably max capacity of this thing, oh yeah. <laughs> so we're really gonna put this thing for a good test today. So it's got this lid, we'll put that on there. Now this thing claims to boil super quick. Oh, that was easy. So just a little, little turn, push button, nothing to it, oh, that was easy. And apparently this thing, uh, concentrates the flame through these fins and now this is thing super full um so we'll see roughly how long another little camping hack so we we're we're here with our jet boil we've had about a minute and a half it actually looks like it wants to start rocking in there but in the meantime the other thing that we that we did last summer this is our first time out this year but we we make this salad called jennifer anison salad now now, I don't know if it's true or not, but the reason it's called Jennifer Aniston salad is she ate this every single day on the day of friends for their 14 years of filming or whatever. And I, and I would have to say it's, it's really good. So it's like quinoa feta. Um, it's got these chickpeas, mint is in there and cucumber. So we kind of separate it into little quadrants. We put the dressing separate. We usually make a few of these when we go out and we'll, we'll kind of have one a day. And uh, so, you know, if we're gone for, a, or maybe one every day and a half type of deal. Um, for us, it kind of gives us everything we like while we're out camping and fishing and on the water. Um, and it's super quick and easy and it's really good. Now, the one thing we do change is we do change the dressing a bit. The dressing that, that it calls for originally is just like a lemon and, and what's the other part of it? Lemon and olive oil. So I like to add some balsamic in there or like a bit of a balsamic reduction. And then uh, what's the other thing I like to do? Honey, honey and balsamic. Uh, I, I really like it changes the flavor profile a bit. So it's pretty good. Let you know how it turns out. We're just gonna mix this up. Castle. We just finished up a little barbecue on the beach. Now we're gonna do a speed test. Um, so this is the Pro 470 2023, the brand new Merc 30 horse ELHPT. I believe we have a 14 pitch prop on there right now. Um, I didn't put the prop on myself, but I know I'm, I'm pretty sure it's a 13 or 14. So I'll check when we're back. Um, this is a new, the new outboard for 2023. It does have a gear ratio change which will make it a little bit different from the last 30s of last year. So we'll see what we can get up to. I'm guessing in between possibly 30 to 35. So we got three of us on board and gear. This is my buddy Ryan. This is actually Ryan's boat. We brought it oh. over to Nanaimo and uh, we're just gonna spend a couple days cruising on the water and familiarization. And then of course we have the beautiful Angela. <laughs> so we'll just wait for a few of these uh, swells to kick down here and then uh, we got the Navionics out there. We got the wind kind of coming in pretty good at us right now and the, and the currents and tides are moving. I got Navionics open, so we're just gonna kick her up and get her up on plane. I'm gonna put the motor all the way down. It definitely helps to have the motor all the way down, so okay, let's do it again. Let's get right up on step. Oh, 
we're clipping along. Not bad. It's 33 kilometers right now. Which, hold on, Edge. Hold on. <laughs> it feels a lot faster. <laughs> yeah. So real, real quick snap up to about 33 prop the way that we are right now. So playing, playing with the prop, you'll definitely get. You can get 40 out of it easy. There's a river runner on there as well, yeah. <laughs> 